that. So that's probably, we can kind of study a little more on that. And the other ones are pretty straightforward. Okay. And then the, um, any questions on that? I know you might have questions on that specifically. <laughs> We're gonna be vague about it. But I want you to start thinking black shoals. I lock in a future rate. I have today's spot price. I know what the rate is today. I'm locking the future rate. And that's the same thing, S and X, right? And you calculate what the rate you should pay now to get the, uh, the appropriate rate to actually hit that future rate. And then the notional amount multiplied by that. Okay, and there's a lot of examples in the book. So you can follow some of the book examples. You can use mine, I have one example on my uh, Excel sheet. This is question nine of the final exam. I won't tell you much about it. Now we have to use black. Okay. Consider an, an offshore oil property. I'm going to actually upload on the Excel. I'll upload it on Excel. I'll upload it on the, for you that are not here, you can actually find this on my website, this actual question. I'm going to put it where the exam is. Okay, consider an offshore oil property with an estimated oil reserve, 50 million barrels of oil, where the present value of the development cost is $50 per barrel and the development lag is two years. So if you think about it, if you're an oil company, there is oil underground. Now, when it's oil underground, you gotta get it out. So it's a cost associated getting out the oil. But once you get it out, you can sell it, right? So you're gonna calculate what I can sell for it versus what I get it it's almost like an optionality option. Actually, in this, in the United States, when the oil went up to as high as 140, even 150, it made, made sense for the fracking business. He started a fracking business in the US, which is this horizontal drilling. It was high enough that it made sense that you can actually, if I cost me 60 bucks to take per barrel of the oil, and I can say I want 150, it was worth the cost. But when the oil dropped all the way in the 20s, all these fracking companies in the US closed down. In Ohio, North Agora, all these, the Marsalus, uh, it, it, it closed down because it didn't make sense. To take oil, it costs you more than to take it out and sell. So this is a little bit of an S minus X concept, S and X, okay? So once uh, developed, then the net production revenue each year will be 5% of the value of the reserves. Got to calculate that. The risk was raised 2%, and the variance is 0.03. Given the information, calculate the value of the oil reserves using the Black Scholes pricing method, and that's what I'm going to leave it. You can talk to each other. You can discuss it among your peers. I don't care. You can stay up for three days thinking about it. I don't care. No, I just care. I don't want you to kill yourself. But this is the uh, challenge. You can take home the exam. And you come in, I'm gonna have a nice little spreadsheet. So you're gonna just put in the answer. You're gonna actually calculate it. You're gonna have the Black Scholes calculation right on the spreadsheet, you're gonna do it. So you can actually solve it, bring the Excel sheet with you. Not the actual electronic version, but actually the uh, your answers and you just and mirror this thing. So basically, that question is gonna, you're gonna repeat that question again on the exam. Any questions? 
able to post like any practice problems with answers? Practice problem questions. First of all, all eight questions I gave you, plus this one, I have spreadsheets on them. So I can tell you, for example, question one is your homework one, whatever the homework is, right? So it's the same thing, just the grid and everything else. Question two, I have uh, is homework three and four, whatever the homework are. So it's exactly the same. Actually, the same spreadsheet. And that's that's the uh, kind of everything is on the web. You're not gonna miss. Actually, if you go and print all my spreadsheets with you, that's a good start of notes to have. So that's where that's how you study with this thing. I already gave you the questions gonna be on it. You're gonna bring it in front of you, and you're gonna write down. You're gonna have this is your cheat sheets. Okay, you're gonna bring this with you on on the lab now. You can create this big banner if you want, I don't care. <laughs> with lights running, with colors, arrows, and crap like that. Whatever helps you study. But basically, it's all my spreadsheets. And there's nothing else except what I taught in this class. I mean, I know a little bit vague on the IROs, but the IROs, because I'm, I want you to start thinking black scrolls. That's what I'm trying to do, give black scrolls to understand on your own what it means instead of just numbers, plug it in and see what the premium is. That's why I kept a little vague on the IROs and on this exam. Because you think about it, the derivatives is very easy. You have one thing that's moving, the S, and then you lock in a fixed rate in the X, and that's it. And you look at the relation between S and X. Done, that's, that's the end of the story of derivatives. One is options, you pay up front to get the future. And if it's futures, you get it anyway, either you want it or not. That's a little difference because you don't pay for it. And that's the difference between everything. It could be a default, credit default swap. It could be one of those, an event happens, you get paid, you have to happen, you don't get paid, blah, 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 all that stuff. So, any questions? Okay. And uh, we'll see, we see each other, I guess, at, uh, come a little earlier to set up, because you have to log in, things like that. You know I'll have to take it on your laptop, even though I know I like you taking a laptop, but a laptop is dangerous, you have stuff on it. Here it's gonna be pure desktop and things like that. Okay? So if you have any questions, uh, you can shoot me an email if you want. But I think everything I've said is here.